Hello everyone, this is a very odd video I'm doing. So a while back, I did what you see here at Undertale D&D game, where I had to make up everything. I just copied this from the game, but pretty much, and I have only one episode of this because I only got one session out until all, like, all the players left because they were all busy with stuff and then I wasn't able to get another session out. But pretty much, I was like, there's Pokemon Tabletop, and there's Dungeons and Dragons, and there's all the things in between. But then I was like, I oh, wonder if there's an Undertale Dungeons and Dragons game. And apparently, from my research in the past, there has not been any. I'm still probably going to upload the first episode. There's a lot of stuff that gone wrong, kind of. Because this, this is my first time DMing. So this is a terrible mistake to DM a completely new game. There is no character sheets. Like, I do have a character sheet I made. This is one of my players, Flattle, who is busy with other stuff, so he can't play anymore. But you can see all these stuff. And... But why I'm making this video is, I want some help. If anyone can help. Because... This is a little loud, but here we go. But pretty much, I want to get this, like, to a part where it's kind of playable like the three souls that we had if I go to roll 20 roll 20 here this is it the lost ones yeah there's no new players uh there's this going sign up uh but here it is This, you'll see. It doesn't matter, we can leave it there. Pretty much. Oh, they set up macros. Yeah, whatever. Ugh. Pretty much. These are all the characters. Oh, Flattle's image is gone now. But this is Flattle's character, who's a they. Perseverance. We got Sarah, who is the... What soul is she again? She is Determination. Flattles uh, Perseverance. We have Serene, who's a player that never actually joined in the game. We got Cyan. And then here's Blackout. I just invited him to help stuff out. He is Bravery. He, he was taking place for Serene. But this is one of the maps. These are all made at NV because I don't have a tile set for Undertale, which makes me a little sad, but I don't think I'm ever going to get one, unfortunately. Uh, but let's see. Uh, let's head to. No, let's not. Let's head to. A pro... Oh, okay then. You can see some of the characters. Uh, we will. Where do I want to go? I will throw us here. This is pretty much an inn. We're in a ghost town. That's where they last left off. Yeah, this is one of the main characters. Any colored characters I have are main characters, except for this one. This is just a special character. This is one of my favorites, a wolf. Uh, but these, you see all this. Oh, these are the stuff I uploaded recently. Never mind. But. You can see there's like shadow monsters. That was the gimmick of this. Like they're filled with hate and all that. But you can see I made a bunch of original sprites. This one I just copied off an image. I tried to make original ones off of some images. But Blackout also helped. Blackout made this one. He made the transparent ones. He made this. Something went wrong to where these have gray parts. They're not supposed to. But I made most of these all by myself. These are just copied off the of images. And all the player sprites you see. Those are like... Let's see. Oh, what? Oh, Flat almost got rid of their character token. That makes me sad. But they had a good token. This is Sarah. Yeah, you know, she has her token, and this is Serene. I'm sad. I was like, oh, I can use Flattle's token, because Flattle's is really nice. But Flattle doesn't have their token in this game for some reason. So I have their character sheet. That's the only thing I have left of them. They kind of just disappeared. 
Uh, yeah. These are all sprites, which I'm proud of. They never got to this character yet, which makes me a little sad. But I'm willing to redo this once I get more stuff set up. And maybe one day I can get a character sheet back. This is one of the characters that's not important, but it's just a special character. They never really got introduced to Ala yet. There's a lot of things that never got to be done yet. I really wish I had tile set for Undertale. That'd be nice, but oh well. I have to deal. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, I was just showing you all this stuff. And it's, yeah, pretty much Undertale D&D. &D. Uh, then the character sheet. I had to... I took all the names. I only have like a few monsters in here. Like I just rounded it as ghosts. We got Mole Small. And we got Froggets. You can see their stats that kind of need working on. They have a special skills they can do. Sticky ally. Anything that's an ally that can go into the skill monster handling, which means you can have allies. And I'm also thinking, like, I'm adding new stuff into it because I'm finally updating this more because I haven't worked on it in a while. I want to add in not only these, a monster soul, and then from the switch, a twin soul, as I'm calling it until I get notification of what it's actually called. This is where it's half red, half blue, and you can split like the Joy-Cons on the Switch. I have a good mechanic for how that one would work. It'll be kind of... I don't say I want it frail, because then it doesn't have a lot of HP. Which is very dangerous, because how I plan is that you can split your soul into two, and then you can both control the soul in different ways to do different things, but you're like, you lose half and half of your HP, half a half of all your stats. So it might just be determination, just with the ability to split. So it's a lot weaker, so I might actually make it a little stronger, but with the ability to split, then... No, I don't know. I don't know how I want to do that. If you're enjoying this music, then yay. But, yeah, I just need help with this. It, I have a server up, which is has a bunch of stuff. You can make your own pixel art. Yeah, anything of flattle then is gone. I really like the mug shots they did. That's what the characters had. The little mug shots and their sprite. Makes me happy. But I have this server here, which I'm willing to add more people into. You won't get the role of player or game master, because it's just us at the moment, because I need I need to get a book out so then people can read it, understand it, add to it, fix it a little, so that we can kind of have a kind of a small group of GMs. I know how to do this and then we can throw it at other people like hey we got this it's not perfect but what is <laughs> but yeah there's a lot of work this needs to go into I'm currently getting on a notebook writing out everything I so far I just I only have three souls in it determination it's stats bravery it's stats and justice with just the page of it but you can see that Determination is real rounded. It has skill bonus and charm. Uh, Orange Soul Bravery has these buffs. And these debuffs. Good in these skills. And you can see it goes in kind of a pattern. This is really high in these stats, but then low in this. And then really low in attack. So it has a variety. And you can see some common rule, and then another common rule. Base speed is five. Oh wait, I need to change that. Because I put that as a zero, naturally, in the thing. But if any of you guys are willing to help and have knowledge, that'd be great. But the thing is, in the game I have, if you're like, oh, I want to go flirt with Sans, I want to be best pals with Undyne. Well, I have no characters from the original Undertale game in that. It's all original story. I mean, there's Frisk and Kara, and then there's the basic monsters, but no main character. Like, Frisk and Kara, I only have them for sprite uses. They're not actually that character. But yeah. This is the page I made. I wish I could get, like, a better-looking character sheet. This is the best I could do. This is for, like, printing out. You can draw your H... 
write your HP number in here as max and current. But yeah, you get your experience points, which you do change this. You will change this, this, this. These are all fill in the blanks. Okay, inventory. This can only be up to, I believe, 10 as it is in the games. Black pills were for hatred stuff. That how I did hatred is you'll get a plus five into every stat for a certain amount of time. And the more you take, that it's almost like joy. If you take too much, then you turn to a mutant. It's the same thing that happens with hatred. If you take too much, you then you turn to a hate monster. You can't control yourself. You just attack everything. And it's just like, you can't exactly die. If you burn, if you get burnt, then... Like, ha at the moment, our la where we last left off, our characters were fighting a bunch of hate monsters and threw them into the fireplace. That was just all because of one crazy guy, he was like, uh, which was Blackout. He was like, oh, I'm going to throw him into the fire. And surprisingly, that is what he did, and it worked. Like, the f they didn't come back to life after that. Because when they die, they kind of slump over or get squished or cut in half. Then they would reform, and then they will attack again. They would only, they wouldn't be max HP. It would be like half their HP or a very small portion of it. And then they would fight over and over. But then for on a crazy whim, you just threw them in the fire, which I didn't exactly plan. But at the same time, I did plan. I was like, oh yeah, to find a way to put them out, and just throwing in the fire worked. That's all that really happened. Let's find some new music. Can you really call this a hotel? There we go. There we go. That's nice. But there's not much I really have. You get all the stats here, the souls, the classes. I do not have abilities for classes yet. I need like magic skills for these. And I need some like ideas. Like I want this to have like moving attacks. Uh, which, like, you have to move for your attacks, you have to stay still for the attacks. Purple, I can see, like, a special dodging ability where they go line, line, line. They can jump between the lines, and it's like, one line here, skip a space, one line here, the middle line, skip a space, one line here. And they can jump between them, or same with, like, here. I don't know how I want to do it, but... You, you understand, kind of. Perseverance would be able to, like, shoot back. Just have a natural ability to use finger gun. Pew pew. Green soul uh, can heal, obviously. Uh, I, don't, I forgot what I wanted blue soul to have. I don't think I thought it out that well. Termination. That's the harder one. Because in the game, it says only under Mount Ebbet is where they get the ability to save and load. But that's just for Frisk. And Flowey to some extent, because he was the powerful, most powerful being, kind of, or whatever. But, I wanted to do something where you can save once every so often, and then you can load once every so often. Like, you can load if someone were to die. Like, you save before a certain event, and then you just load. Or just load, an ability called load, where you load back to the begin of a turn or a battle. And so every stats go back to how they were before. Just something like that. And then you'll think it's kind of overpowered, but I'm trying to find a way that, that would balance everything. Like, determination is only good in charm, but then you get stuff like, they all have different things that make them better. Like, this is pretty good. Perseverance, like, intimidation really high stats, and then only a lowered stat. Like, it has probably the most... Because that's... 3, 6, 9... That's 4... That's 7, so it has 7 negative, but 6 positive. 6 positive... No, 9 positive, 7 negative, yeah. So this is pretty good. It's the highest positive, but the, also the highest negative. But you're really defensively, like you're a tanky one for some reason. Wait, this is a tank, this is a wall. Yeah. But 
I don't. Yeah, I just need help. And if I do invite you to the server, I just might leave a link into the server. And you guys can help fill in this stuff, like the monster book. You can just send in some stats, like stats, skills, and maybe a description. That's where this will go. That's really all I want to help with, just for the basic monsters. And if you guys make your own monsters, then that'll be great. But the thing is, nothing crazy. No sands. No un undying the undying. No omega flowery power level. No astral dreamer. Like, no one crazy like that. No, no copy and paste. Change it a little bit. Like, something that's almost original. Like... What was it? It was pictures in here. Look at this. I mean, yeah, we have kind of something that looks like Flowey, but it works on a different basis. We have robots, obviously, which kind of go into like why there's a lot of ghosts around. Uh, it's fine to use Undertale. We got raddies. We got some creepy ghosts. We got little sapperlings. Like, we got a good variety. We got a demon. We got, we got a good variety. We got shadows. That's an alternate form. Like, I was planning to make this good, but I was just not ready for it yet. So hopefully, any of you guys that are interested would like to help out. But yeah, I'm also uploading two other videos at the moment. So this might come out a little later then, huh? Dang. Actually, I can just open another tab and then upload this at the same time. Okay, I might do that. But, yeah. If you guys at all have any suggestions at all, you I will leave a link in the description for joining the server. You're not going to have a role or anything, but I would just like it if some people would be kind enough to help. And don't be... This might sound stupid and like... How? This is just me. But try not to be cringy or like an obsessive fan. If you're joining this. Like, no people... I don't want anyone saying that, Oh, my Sans is my boyfriend or girlfriend or... Wait, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> or anything that... No dating main characters or something really weird. I mean, that may offend some people. I'm like, get over it. But... Nothing that's weird and makes other people uncomfortable, please. But what else? In this server, you have you can do pixel art, an art room, give your character bio if you want to join in a game. I might, because the thing is, the thing I wanted to do with this game, Undertale Lost Ones, is the f is I wanted to reuse the same game but get new players in. Almost like how you can replay Undertale and go different paths. Just get the same new people to play the same game so that it has a different outcome. Cause that's that just seems interesting in my mind, and that means I can kind of fix some stuff up in the story. Or just see how people do. I do punish people for being in the genocide route though. I really punished Blackout. For just, he just went up and killed a ratty. He's like, oh, stab. He was out for blood. But I did make it so that they, like, my game, how it worked too, is that you can still get levels even if you don't fight or kill monsters. You can train. You, like, you can train so you can still get levels to get stronger. So you can take on even stronger monsters, but you don't have to kill. So th that's kind of going against how Undertale works, but it would be pretty boring if you never got anything new. Like, you stayed the same basic character, never got any new skills, never got any stronger, couldn't defend yourself against any monster. Like, what's the point in even having a level system if, like, the only benefit is from killing monsters? But no, you can train. You can train. Uh, you can do things. <laughs> but yeah. Like, they're currently all level 3, and the only things they killed, besides Blackout, were Shadow Monsters. And did some training with some raddies in armor. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's really it. But it would be nice if people were to help out with this. This book, like, they throw in some reasonable stats. Not all the monsters in here. I only picked some of the monsters that seem more common-like. Not like... 
the plane monster or so sorry uh what other monster uh, i can't think of any other monsters i did not add i added temi uh flowey i didn't add i want to add a group called like flowers they have a different they're like giants in D, D. like there's a different variety of them same with like dogs maybe the lesser dog greater dog but there's two different ones uh froggets i do want to do a thing with froggets because there's this one thing i have if i go to the art room look i have a bunch of different froggets just based off of real frogs they seem to get taller and taller as i go along but yeah i wanted to do like this where there's like toxic froggets where they're poisonous uh, there's snap tail under nap I don't know. It's just an art piece I did. Looks nice. I haven't messed with it in a while, I think. It's cute. You can see a Temi in there. <laughs> There's a doggo chewing on the legendary artifact. Yes. Yeah. Is this gal? Looks nice, but world building is just for suggestions and also free caps, like how Lentil does in our world building in our game. But yeah, there's nothing much I really can add to say, really. Just if you guys want to help, please help. I'd be more than willing to let you guys join in because there people will make this one day in the future but if I start it now then there's a basis people can kind of work off of to make it better like if someone was like oh, I really also want an Undertale D&D game well here you go here's a book here's a bunch of stuff I made for people who enjoy Undertale and D&D at the same time so if you guys really want to, I can put more effort in if more people want this. I can put a lot more effort in trying to get this stuff done. But that means you guys kind of want to help out too. But yeah. I say I end it here. There's not much else to talk about. So I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Well, let me ch Nah. Goodbye.